One of the most important components of radio engineering is placing and arranging resistors, as well as their wiring on a circuit board. C14 type commercial resistors are usually supplied with axial terminals. Resistor terminals are usually inserted into the holes of a circuit board pads. Prior to installation, resistor terminals are deformed or bent and serviced. The process of bending the terminals is often re referred to as forming or shaping of terminals. The distance between the case of a resistor and the bending point should be at least 5 mm. Resistors are placed on the circuit boards either horizontally or vertically, but in no way slantwise. When forming the terminals, one should try to bend them in such a way that the labeling of resistors after they are placed onto the circuit board is easily readable. It means terminals should be bent on top and not underneath the resistor. When the labeling is positioned this way, it is easier to check the quality of wiring and more convenient to do the repairs associated with replacement of radio elements. A resistor can be placed in such a way that it touches the circuit board with its case and is as if leaning onto the board. Resistors are placed above the circuit board in cases requiring better the heat sink or in situations when the resistor operates under excessive operating voltage, as well as in order to avoid electrical breakdown. Such elevated position is indicated in the electrical schematic using claim sign. In order to prevent resistors falling through the holes prior to soldering, its terminals are formed in the one of the following ways. This method of placing resistors above the circuit board also enables wiring with the distance between the component holes being smaller than the longitudinal size of the resistor. This is how resistors are placed when center-to-center -center distance between the component holes is much bigger than the longitudinal size of the resistor's body. In this case, we can also use straight terminals, but the shape shown here is preferable because it helps to maintain guaranteed clearance above the board and secure fixation of the resistor prior to soldering. When the minimum center-to-center -center distance between the component holes is limited, the resistor can be placed vertically. Length of the terminals is usually sufficient for this type of wiring. Placement of resistors and other radio elements of the circuit board is called flat design, whereas the vertical position of a resistor demonstrated here can be viewed as more of a transition from flat to three-dimensional wiring.